Hi guys, it's Sebastian back from Noble Frugal Studios. All my drawing pads acting up. Uh, man, guys, I just... It's been such a long time since I actually made a video. So I just wanna... Uh, I just wanna... Let's just animate something, you know? Um, I've gotten so much, you know, feedback from you guys on my tutorials, on... Some of you guys asked questions, and I tried to answer them as quickly as I can. I was... Anyway, guys, I just... Uh, you guys have given me so much support in this... In this race. In this race, it's not really a race. I'm not really going against anybody. It's more of just like a... Just a just a thing I'm doing, you know, just making tutorials, and it's been a lot of fun with you guys. You guys give me a lot of support and love, like I say, almost every episode. Again, I'm not a professional animator yet. You guys still kind of accept me into this community, which is which is nice. All right, so let's just you know what, let's just animate something. Um. Ah, uh, wow, I've had so much inspiration looking. I don't know what I want to animate. Well, first of all, if we can just draw like a character that we can make the reference off of. Well, that 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 made a lot of sense. Hold on. We should erase this because that's when you first make a level, a raster level that is, it sort of lags a little bit. So let's just draw this circle a little smaller. Okay, let's just make a character. So let's uh, we'll give them a low eyebrow like that. We'll make their head like a square. Why not? Um, we can. So this can sort of be like a character creation, um, tutorial. Why not? So we can give them um for animation stuff like that. So let's give them uh eyebrows, I guess. <laughs> Uh, we'll make, we'll, we'll go on with this idea, I like this idea. I'll make a really cute, um, sort of robot looking thing, so far. It doesn't have to be a robot, it can just be a dude. I'll give him, we'll make him a dude, we'll make him get, we'll give him a nose too. There we go, that, that guy looks pretty good. So we can give him like a, we can make, draw him in different emotions. You know, we can just draw him like a, draw him again, you know, so it's getting easier as I do it. His like middle brow, his eyes. Gotta make make sure his eyes. Let me draw a line here, so I know that where the eyes are supposed to go. Um, so sort of in the middle of this area, which is kind of cool. Um, so we can sort of draw a cruder version of him, and that's nice. That's what I love about um animation. You know, the practice of it is fun, and um, you know, it's just it's not always like you know, uh. A difficult thing all the time. If, like I heard in a video by, um, I was watching a video by Howard Wimster. Uh, as you guys, some of you guys saw me. I had a little bit of comment chain with him on another video, but um, yeah, he. I watched the newest video when he was talking about this um animator. I I'll leave a link to it. Why not? Um, so uh, he said if the rules are keeping you back, then just forget them. And that's for me, especially as a beginning anime. That's that's really that was really inspiring. I actually kind of. Um, I went out. I went back to my animation. I was I was working. I'm not gonna show you guys what it is just yet. It's not the right time. So um, I went to the animation I was working on, and um, I just started going. I just started forgetting about all the stuff that I would need to do, and I just started going on it. And you know, it's it's not like I didn't make so much so much progress. Like oh, this is gonna be the definitive. You gotta do this. But you know, it really does help me. Like you know, mentally just to forget all the not your responsibilities, but you know forget all the rules so they're not like kind of clamming down on you all the time you know and it's uh it's it's a really good practice just to you know sit back and just animate so let's uh get this guy all right so now he's looking pretty good let's give him the eyebrows again so yeah just a really basic character um not really anything complex the thing about animation that you want to do is to make your character simple because oh, i forgot to give him a little nose right here so we'll give him a little Bump, sort of robot looking character. <laughs> I've never drawn a character like this, this simple. Think about animation as I was saying. You want to make your character simple because um, you're going to be drawing multiple pictures of them. And if they're a little complex, that can be difficult for a starting animator and can be a little bit discouraging. So let's, uh, let's kind of, hmm, let's give him a body actually. Because we're going to have to add his body too. So we're going to give him like a little bit of a sort of a trapezoid body. Why not? Break, let's make this off of shapes. Um, trapezoid, trapezoid dude, <laughs> trapezoid guy. We'll make it like that. There you go. Um, or trapezoid girl. We don't know. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, go like that. Now, uh, my trapezoid guy isn't working out. So he's making like, we'll go like this. We'll make his feet triangles. Like that. Why not? See, as you see, as we just kind of go through the, go through the, um, process of making the character you kind of start getting ideas which is really nice so we'll make his arms only round things all right so we got trapezoid guy or trapezoid girl we don't know 
Um, let's see. We'll just uh, we can make it a trapezoid girl. Why not? Let's do a hmm on the sides. We'll just kind of make the hair like meet up here, and uh, give our trapezoid girl a little bit of hair. Why not? Yeah, this is starting to look better. So she's just <laughs> all right. So our trapezoid girl is pretty pretty much done. Um, <laughs> yeah, so designing for animation, you really got to make a character, um, when you're starting out, I would encourage you guys to make a character simpler, not, not necessarily simple, but, you know, replicatable as I, um, learned in one of my art classes, um, never like an animation class, just a regular, regular art class, um, that you want to make a character replicatable so you can, you know, keep, keep it going, keep the drawing going. And I hit my mic again. Why well, I always hit my bike mic with my elbow. Um, so let me actually just sketch in the nose right here. So yeah, now that we got the sort of um, our character, we can start talking about volume. Um, I didn't think I was going to get to this in this episode, but why not? So um, we can sort of. So let's see if we want to draw this out of perspective, right? So we're going to act as if this is like a 3D shape. So we're going to just draw like the 3D dimensions kind of in here. So let's get John to do this. Draw this. So the legs, that's kind of coming back now. That's sort of like the bottom of the head or the top of this trapezoid. Sound like a body, and then the circles really don't have um, any definition lines. So um, the feet, yeah, we can. I think we can leave those. So now we can draw out a perspective. Sort of our head's like a square, if you think about it. So we'll just draw the circle. Draw like start drawing that square, like this. Let's cut it in half. Make the eyes. The square kind of goes in a little bit, so it's more of like a trapezoid. A trapezoidal prism. I don't really know what that's called. I should. I should. I don't know. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Um, anyway, uh, let's go over here. Start sketching in the hair, all that stuff, and then we can start drawing the body like this. We can uh, sort of make it like this. There we go. So she can start getting sort of that shape we had. So we can start sort of seeing her as a 3D shape, which is really cool about characters and the good thing that I used that I started this uh this person very very shapely I guess you could say there uh all right so we got that and then we can sort of make their arm give them a little circle hand like this there we go so this didn't turn out to be an animation tutorial sometimes I just I just always wanted to like you know just throw on the recorder just see what I get so yeah so we can sort of see this isn't of course this is not close to perfect but you guys can kind of see how making a character uh, 3D in your own head can, um, you know, it can uh, uh, really help you. And one more thing, I want to adjust the front view. Uh, um, uh, someone made a point in the video that I want to also address is that when you see the front view, a lot of people just say, um, I saw this in a video, I can't remember who's, I would think it was a video by Sykra, that he said, like, you don't want to just put the hair on top of the person like this, you know, because their head is 3D, so you might want to think about, like, the head like this, like this is the divi the division line for um, the top of their head. And then the rest of this is sort of going backwards. So you can kind of say like if you want to put hair, we can put some big hair here. But then as it goes back, you can kind of put smaller hairs because, you know, that depth of field sort of principle, which is nice. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't, I haven't been making tutorials in, wow, it's been a long time. It's been a month, I think, maybe two, two months, I think. But yeah, so... Um, I do plan to come up with more tutorials. Guys, please leave a comment on what you guys want to see because it's going to be a little bit confusing with uh, open tunes. I am working on an animation right now. I don't know if I'm going to release it anytime soon. Um, and that's because of production-wise and also other reasons. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.